Hi there, my name is Craig Patterson, and I'm part of the Omnichannel product management team. Today I'm going to walk you through Enhanced Omnichannel, and how it differs from Standard Omni, and how to upgrade. Let's begin with showing Standard Omnichannel, and the Supervisor screen. This super useful screen is used for monitoring your teams, which Standard Omni has up to four tabs, starting with the Agents tab. We'll see some changes here shortly. Now to the agent experience. This has been in use for years and has worked well for use cases it was designed for. However, when you have lots of long running work items, such as in this instance, where I have 10 cases in my backlog, it's a little difficult to navigate and prioritize my work. I also have limited visibility of the work that I own, but I'm not actively working on right now. For example, when I reply to this email case, the case is automatically updated to waiting on customer, and it disappears from my omnichannel work list, meaning I can't easily get back to it later if I want to. Then, when the customer replies, and work needs to be resumed on this case, I need to accept the work again, even though I'm still the owner of this record. Now let's see how both the agent and supervisor experience changes on the enhanced omnichannel platform. First, let's turn it on. This could be simpler. From setup, we navigate to Omnichannel Settings admin page, where you'll see a toggle in the top right. Clicking this takes you through a couple of pop-ups with some warnings and the terms and conditions to be accepted. Easy peasy, bing bang boom, this org is now an enhanced Omnichannel. Now we're on enhanced Omni, Let's make a small change to get the most out of this new platform. We do this by updating the status-based capacity settings for our case channel. We can go to our service channels admin screen and edit the case channel. We're now going to move the waiting on customer status from completed to the new paused option in the capacity settings section. We'll see shortly how this changes the agent experience. Let's go back to our user session and refresh the screen. Boom! Just like that, we can see the supervised wallboard is now available. This gives our supervisor a great summary of the health of their teams, and as you'll see, it live updates as events occur. Next, you'll see as I open the Omnichannel widget, I get a new refreshed view, which also brings with it some new functionality. First, you notice all the work I had before is still assigned to me. The upgrade was truly seamless. You'll also notice that the work is in a single tab now labeled Inbox. As you'll see, this shows all of my work in a single list, making it easier to keep on top of everything. Before I start work again, notice the wallboard is showing 100% use capacity. We'll revisit that shortly. As I look to continue working that same case as earlier, you see that I can now click anywhere in the row and it shows me which one I have open on the screen. Very helpful. As I reply to the case again, like we did earlier, you'll notice the work item disappears from the inbox as it moves to waiting on customer. Or does it? No! It has gone to the bottom of my list and is showing as paused. This is the new pause status for status-based capacity that we configured earlier. Now I continue to have visibility of all the work items that I own but aren't actively working on right now, giving me full visibility of my entire backlog and making me one happy agent. While we wait for the customer's reply, I'm going to go into a bit more detail about the wallboard. This gives the supervisor a high level overview of the most important information to them, giving them a great idea of what is happening with their team in real time and updates as events occur. For instance, you'll notice now that we have some spare capacity due to the pausing of that work item, but that will change soon. If there's a particular queue or skill combination that needs special attention, you can filter the wallboard to focus on it when you need to. Ah, it looks like our reply has come in, and the team is back at full capacity. But notice this time, that instead of having to accept the work item again, instead, I have an indicator let me know that there is an update to this piece of work. This really simplifies the routing and lets the agent know that it's to do with something that they've worked on previously. 
Outside of these changes that I've highlighted, everything else within Omnichannel should behave the exact same way as it did before. But there will be more and more innovation added to this enhanced Omnichannel platform, so you'll want to upgrade as soon as you can. Thanks for watching this video. I hope now you're super excited to upgrade.